The place, Roosevelt Field, New York. The date, May 20, 1927. The occasion, Lindbergh's transatlantic flight. In the early morning hours of Friday, May 20th, 1927, Charles Lindbergh in his plane, The Spirit of St. Louis, was set to depart Roosevelt Field on Long Island, attempting to win the $25,000 Ortigue Prize by completing the first successful flight between New York City and Paris. If successful, the flight of 3,610 miles would end at Le Berger Aerodrome outside Paris. A crowd of a thousand or more watched as Lindbergh walked around the plane on a final tour of inspection. Rain had been falling, but as the plane was wheeled onto the runway, light began to break through the low-hanging clouds. Powered by a J-5C Wright Whirlwind radial engine, the Spirit was loaded with 450 U.S. gallons of fuel that was filtered repeatedly to avoid fuel line blockage. The fully loaded airplane weighed 5,200 pounds. At 7.52 a.m., the plane took off, clearing telephone lines at the far end of the field by about 20 feet. Long hours of flight alternated between cold and warmer temperatures, sometimes dealing with ice particles on the wings and altering course to find warmer air. As he moved east, dawn came early at 2.52 a.m. New York time. As he continued to fly, he began to hallucinate and fall in and out of sleep. At 3 p.m. local time, he was spotted in Ireland, and by the time he reached the English coast, he was wide awake. A report came from Plymouth that his plane was starting across the English Channel, and as the news spread, a crowd started forming at Le Berger Field. As sunset arrived, he flew over the French coast at Cherbourg, only 200 miles from Paris. It was now 2.52 p.m. May 21, New York time. He had been in the air for 31 hours. As he arrived in Paris, he first circled the Eiffel Tower, then flew to Le Berger, flying over the crowd and landing at 10.22 p.m. local time Saturday, May 21, over 33 hours after leaving New York. A crowd estimated at 150,000 stormed the field, dragged Lindbergh out of the cockpit, and carried him above their heads for half an hour. Some minor damage was done to the plane by souvenir hunters before it and Lindbergh reached the safety of a nearby hangar. After meeting with America's ambassador to France, Myron T. Herrick, Lindbergh left the airfield around midnight and was driven through Paris to the ambassador's residence, stopping to visit the French Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at the Arc de Triomphe. After arriving at the residence, he slept for the first time in 60 hours. Charles Lindbergh took off from New York an unknown pilot and landed in Paris as the most famous man in the world.